Hey there, and welcome back to another Colossal Brick Flick review and unboxing, or unboxing and review, I guess is the right term. Um, this is set number 60242. This is the police highway arrest, and it has 185 pieces. All right, so um, this, is, this one has two stars in this. Of course, we have Duke Detain, which he was another um, Another set we recently had. And then we have Vito, I guess the all-encompassing bad guy. Alright, so just looking at the box, you can see that you've got the two cars, and obviously, like any good um, car chase scene, there's always somebody that, you know, some food stand that gets hit. So you see oranges flying, or in this case, fish flying everywhere. And so, yeah. So, um, let me talk about what I like about this set. Of course, it's got cars. Um, I'm also trying to build up my police force. Um, I've been picking up the uh, the little police cars that are usually go for ten dollars, but they've been going for seven on Amazon and uh, Target right now. Although if you can find them at Target, good luck to you. But yeah, um, so having another in an even different police car is good for me, even though this is a muscle police car, which I besides like state troopers, I've never seen a muscle police car. So, but um, yeah, we also have looks like four fish. And we have Vito, and a, that's a nice crate actually. We don't have a crate like this at the moment, so that's good to have. And yeah, and we also have a little uh, a bank vault with money in it as well. Now it's not many pieces, but again, oh, really important too, right there, speed limit sign. I don't have a speed limit sign yet, so that's exciting. Let's take a look at the back of the box, and it's standard fare. A little bit of a scene here. I guess, um, oh yes, yeah, so it comes with gold bricks. We don't have gold bricks yet either, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, he shouldn't have hit that crate of fish, obviously, because you know, he's in handcuffs now, and Duke detains faithfully putting the money back in the safe. And hopefully he'll return the safe to its proper owner after this. All right, so anyway, um, of course he will. He's Duke detain, I mean, he's, you know, pillar of law. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this opened. Uh, let's talk about the set two. Meanwhile, why I purchased it. Um, there, are, I don't purchase everything I see, um, but if I know I'm going to have a use for it, and usually cars, especially cars that are decent looking and scaled to what I don't know, I, I consider kind of the correct scale, even though there's different scales. Um, but if you're talking about trying to have a city on display, I like this scale where you can at least have the figure sitting in them versus some of the cars that you see that are cheaper. Um, you know, that don't necessarily have room for minifig. So I consider that scale not quite what I want. That'd be good for scale if you were, especially for shooting stop motion and you're doing like an overhead view and you want to see things go by, they can be small and that's fine. But, you know, when you're shooting with buildings in the background or you have figures on the sidewalks, you want the cars to be in scale. So I like this set for that reason. It's two cars. Um, I will say this though, the price that you may see online is $30, which to me for 185 pieces and the fact that it's got so little, I mean it's two cars and they're decent cars, don't get me wrong, and you have a little bit of props, but that's all you're getting. And for $30, I mean, that's kind of steep for this set. Uh, it's $30 on, on Lego. I've seen it $30 in stores. We did not pay $30 for this. Uh, we got it on Amazon, I believe, for $24 and um, some change. So, you know, $5 off even is, is pretty good. I, I, felt, I felt better about paying that. Than what I do. So, you know, some of these sets, it's kind of, it's funny. Uh, you'll see some sets where, you know, you're getting a lot more for either the same price or less. And my wife's theory on this is that maybe some of the parts are more sought after, so people want to piece them out. So if you have like a Star Wars set and it comes with a specific type of, you know, cockpit, you know, hatch or something, she thinks that maybe the price is driven by some of those pieces in a set. I don't see what would cause this set though to be thirty dollars versus twenty to twenty five, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm no I'm no economist, so I can't I don't know anything about price setting and values or whatnot. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. And get this This isn't a brand new set either. It's been out for a little bit. Ah, the book is not bad. Oh, it spoke to us. This one's a little bent. We got stickers. Stickers, stickers, stickers. We do have stickers. Some police stickers. 
Bam. Two. Two. standard stuff, you know, numbered bags, cool, one's probably one car, one's probably the other, I'm assuming, yeah, this is a lot of red pieces, this is blue and white, so that's how, I'm assuming, even though I don't usually put these together, but I do see the police minifig in here, and Vito over there, um, so yeah, so anyway, I do look forward to this set, um, I really look forward to having this car, and I may actually bring my other police cars in here too, just to show some side-by-side -side comparison after this is done, but um, yeah. This is going to be interesting, and can't wait to see him. We'll see you then. Alrighty, and we're back. This is the car chase set. Um, this is, of course, Duke Detain chasing the criminal Vito in his sports car. And of course, here is the stand on the side of the road with the speed limit sign, clearly showing Vito that he is breaking the speed as is normal with car chases. And of course, we have a crate of fish, which is to go everywhere um, once Vito has ran off the road. Or maybe Duke Detain's run off the road. Regardless, fishy business abounds. So anyway, let's talk about, let's talk about the builds first. Um, uh, this set was forty dollars. Was it forty or thirty? I think I can't remember. It was either forty or thirty. I want to say it's thirty. And for thirty dollars, definitely not for forty. But for thirty dollars, it's just not quite solid. It's just not there. The piece count's not there. The actual build quality. I mean, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. But then even on the bottom of the car, because they went with um, they went with a solid piece for the to you know to start the frame. And even then, it's kind of like, it's not as well built as some of the other cars. Even the $7 police car, which we've also reviewed, well, it's $9 normally retail, but it's been seven lately. Um, even that police car is a better build. Um, this one's kind of cool looking because, especially because it's got, you know, it, it's got the, the hood on it. So it's, it's showing you that this is a muscle car and it's definitely got the scoops, but overall, it's just not quite there as far as quality. And so, I don't think this one's really worth the price. Especially when you compare this one to the Safari set, which we also got. And that set clearly had better pieces with it and it was just a better build overall. So now, um, you do get fish with this and the crate on the side and the little, the little tiny road strip. But even with this, I still can't justify paying more than then uh, I'd say more than 20, honestly, but I'd say 25, which is all we paid for it. It's about the most anyone should pay for it. But overall, as far as my uses, I'll definitely get a lot of use out of this. Um, I'm getting a lot of police cars lately and even some sports cars. So as far as that goes, I'll definitely be getting my use out of these in some way or another. But yeah, that's pretty much the unboxing and review for this one. Um, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.